folic acid, vitamin M or B9. It is also known as liver lactobacillus, KCI factor or streptococcus lactis or called as SLR factor. And it acts especially on one carbon metabolism where it is responsible for one carbon moiety donor. And the biologically active form of folic acid is tetrahydrofolate. And the sources are rich in liver, green leafy vegetables such as spinach as well as yeast. So what about the daily requirements? In adults, the daily requirement is approximately 400 to 500 micrograms. In infants, it is 50 micrograms and in children, it is approximately 100 to 300 micrograms. But whereas the requirement increases in pregnancy as well as in lactation, in pregnant women, the requirement would be 800 micrograms. But in lactating women, it is approximately 600 micrograms. Now, what are the functions of folic acid? So the tetrahydrofolic acid, which is the active form of folic acid, is a carrier of one carbon moiety such as methyl, formoil, formate or formimino groups or hydroxymethyl. One carbon moiety binds to tetrahydrofolate at N fifth position or N tenth position and sometimes both. So N5R, formoil, formimino or methyl and N10 or formoil. And N5 as well as N10 or methylene as well as methanyl. The carbon 1 or 1 carbon metabolism or C1 moiety donors are as follows. So these are the following products which are the donors for 1 carbon metabolism that is methylene tetrahydrofolate, beta carbon of serine, serine hydroxyl methyl transferase which is the enzyme involved in the pathway of glycine as well as choline. And what are the C1 moiety acceptors? And previously we studied about the donors. And now what are the C1 moiety acceptors? And these are as follows. n formoil methionine of tRNA. Position 2 as well as 8 of the purine ring. Homocysteine to methionine. Glycine to serine conversion. Uracil to form thymine. And histidine synthesis. All these reactions where it is involved in one carbon acceptor. 5 formoil tetrahydrofolate is more stable than folate and it is used as folinic acid or the synthetic form which is leucovorin in the clinical practice. And now let us discuss about the deficiency of folic acid. So the deficiency of folic acid can cause nutritional macrocytic anemia megaloblastic anemia where megaloblastic picture can be seen in both vitamin b12 as well as folic acid deficiency because of the decrease in folic acid there will be reduced dna synthesis homocysteinemia and neural tube defects such as spina bifida there's a reason pregnant mothers are advised to take 5 milligrams of folic acid in early phase of pregnancy especially to prevent fetal neural tube defects and the deficiency is determined by figlu red cell folate assessment and histidine load test and normal levels of folic acid in the blood is 2 to 20 nanograms per ml now what is figlu figlu it is nothing but an intermediate product of histidine metabolism due to the deficiency of folic acid so histidine load test is used to assess folic acid deficiency. So remember one important point that megaloblastic picture is seen in vitamin B12 deficiency as well as folic acid deficiency. The classical differential point between folic acid deficiency as well as vitamin B12 deficiency is the CNS manifestations or the CNS symptoms. So remember that the CNS symptoms are more commonly associated with vitamin B12 deficiency where there will be involvement of typically posterior column tracts as well as pyramidal tracts of the spinal cord. And this is what we need to know about folic acid.